No, now imagine, Kemi, I'm coming up at platforms like these, and then I say such. It reflects on me, Ma, uh, as a coach. And it is not only p people who are interested in the solo story. My, my next boss is listening to me and saying, oh, goodness me. If I hire this guy, the level of confidentiality is... But the struggles we went through at Solos are so... I had never seen some of the stuff that I saw. Now, I'm trying to come here with you saying, no, man, no, I'm, I'm not... A, and I must also say thanks to you for being so professional. You, some of the stuff you knew, we worked together at SABC, we're doing AFCON. But not even once you asked me. And you kept on going on, even when I was not going to work, we were still in studio. And at no stage you ever asked me up until this moment. And even at this moment, you, you find a way to package the question so professionally that it is not, it is not, it doesn't come across bad. So I'm also trying to package my, 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 my responses as such, uh, but also trying to say, can we get better? But here's my thing. If we don't speak about it, yeah. do, are we doing the players that are left there, the staff that are left there, any favors? Because then it remains buried and it, it, it the, the one side of the story that says, no, we're fine here, everything mm -hmm. is okay, remains the narrative mm -hmm. of Morocco Swallows. Mm -hmm. Are we doing those favor, those players a favor if we do not highlight they play? I mean, already you've said, Witty, it's bad, but what does that mean as a coach? I've had a coach here before who said, hey, and something, something as simple as an ice bath mm. is not provided. We have to put money together as a staff to go buy it mm. and give these players basic needs such as that. Never mind the payment of players and of coaches and of staff that doesn't come as regular as it exactly. should come. Exactly. Exactly. Well, that, that, that one is quite a bigger problem, which I think belongs then to, to even inside the office. I'm talking about front desk stuff, basic stuff that has to be delivered. If if you put a guy at a position, say manage the team, and the guy is not capable or efficient enough, uh, then you have to find a way to remove them. But if you don't remove them and they are there and they continue in their in their in their way of doing things, that is anti progress. And then you ask yourself, but is this guy deliberately doing this or not? Because at some point, ma, -a, there's obedience, there's malicious obedience. But what you see to people, you know, there's a stage where I ended up saying we're in a team meeting, pre-training meeting. We had meetings every morning. I said to them, guys, I feel so bad that every day I come here and I'm always fighting, moaning and groaning, trying to get things right. I'm sure you guys are saying we have never come across a coach who complains like this. But I'm saying the environment we have created, even by entry in the morning, Already there's just complaints, then there's this and that. Now, how do you correct that? Because what I see, which is what I said, I am starting to become nuisance with you. And I am fighting you over things that I want to see make us better. Like what? But I'm creating enemies. I'm an, a lot of inefficiency. You know, there's one case, I'll just give one example. Zininginj. We go to Stellenbosch. You know, the protocols in terms of camp. There has to be a meeting room. That one was just, listen, every time the meeting room would never be set up. I'm asking myself, but this thing does not need money and all that. It's just simple organization. Yeah. A team manager who's efficient who will say, okay, one long table for 20 people, two round tables for technical team security, and maybe another table for the guy who's transporting us if we had a bus wherever we're going. We are in Stellenbosch. I'm, I'm just citing one. There's a million. Every match, every match, whether it was against Pirates, against Chiefs, Super Sport, Cape Town City, Amazulu, Golden Arrows, there's cases. The one that actually got me saying, no, man, this can't be. We are at Stellenbosch. We arrive at the hotel, and those who've been at Stellenbosch, we camped there with my Melody Sundowns. They've got so many meeting rooms and conferences. Lab. Even upstairs, they do have. Then it's time for us to go have pre-training meal and pre-train I mean a pre-match meal and pre pre-match meeting these guys in the hotel they say no uh, we prepared your stuff in the gym I'm saying what in the gym where have you seen that and uh, you must also understand there's some sort of an undertone 
because sometimes your skin could be an indicator of how you have to be respected. Mm. And I mean, I get I kick it out of the window. So I, I then said, no, man, what do you mean now? In the gym? Yes, because uh, there's meetings here. The meeting room says, Pama conference, but there's just plenty. And we must have booked in advance. And when we send our booking, it must have requirements that, okay, these are our standard requirements. A meeting room, a whatever, whatever, pre-match meal, this time and all that, even with our dietary requirements. And then I said, no way. I left the meeting room, went straight in there. They were set up, kune mbila, kune mishine, chimine, and all that. I said, listen, whatever you want is not going to happen. Not like this. Whoever allowed this to be not here. Because at the end of the day, it's about me in front of the players. That I'm then taking them into the gym for pre-match meal, into the gym for pre-match meeting. I said, this is hogwash. Never. I said, never. In no time. These guys reversed. We went up in the same meeting room I had been in when I had visited the same hotel when he played Selenbosch when I was at Sundowns. Everything was perfect. Projectors were there. Everything was there. We could do our work, visuals and all that. And I'm saying, but but which manager who's right in their head to, to put their own team? First, a team manager must love his team like, like nobody's business. You have to be so jealous that you check even the sneakers. Is the rubber sole white? Are the sneakers clean? About this tracksuit is fading, man. I must give you... Because it is about image. Mm. Now, when you have people who don't care about such, it has a lot to do with how they regard themselves, but it reflects on you as well. I couldn't allow... That. There's many men. It was just crazy. I think the biggest mistake I committed was a discussion I had with Elasto. When I was... Con- I mean, discussing... The, the Why very, is Steve speaking to an Alastor? Why are you not going to a David? Why are you not going to a no, Payaza? He's, 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 on a daily, he's there on a daily basis. There's commitments from those above us, the principals. Now you're trying to say to this one who's here, who you know that this guy has got the ability to make or break this thing. But if he's making knock- my job difficult, if Malcolm here, who controls my button, makes my job difficult, at some point after having spoken to him to a stoop, yep. I'm going to go to no, the management. I did, I, I did that, and I think it's stuff that maybe I did not want to bring forth here. I did that, but I'm trying to say for the benefit, I'm trying to educate this guy about how best to handle this thing. And I'm saying, if you look back at what we went through, we've had cases and settlements that they put a setback on us. We could not get sponsorships for whatever, many other reasons. But come scale down. Have a business model that will make you survive, and it is possible and then I said to him, this is what you can do. Okay? I even said, made an example. I said, if you have a squat, have a squat, but keep the squat within a budget. For instance, a 10 cent budget for that squat, and then you break it down in, okay, I'm going to have five top players. They will end 10 cent to those five. And then I would have midsection about 10 players who will also share 10 cent. Now, because they are 10, they will get lesser than these ones who yeah. are five who are sharing ten. And then take the other ten and then, uh, I mean, the three, 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 and put it to the last group of C. So you are saying, okay, let's say the first five share ten. The second ten, they share ten. And then the last group of C shares another ten. And there's you like have 20 there because it's less. It's going to even be yeah. lesser. So you keep that. And then you say into the group C, when you break into group B, then you're going to fall into this category. Yeah. And you at group B, if you fall into group A, you'll fall into that. You don't manipulate your budget. You stick within your budget. If and when you feel one of the players outside needs to be brought in, at that particular category, you have to remove one. The same happened at Man United. The minute Alex realized that Hyman or Ronaldo, mm-mm, he has to go, or David Beckham, or Ruth Van Nistelrooy, let me take him to Real Madrid, then he says, okay, Oh, Cantona, you can go. Berbatov, you come in. So that's how. Now, if you have such a structure, it will work. I sold that idea to him. I don't know what he did with it. So Swallows were overstretched in terms of their budget. They had more players than they had money for it. And apart from that, my understanding is that already moving into that year, you got in with, with difficulties financially. And then on top of that, you're trying to develop a squad that is strong, strong as is, and you also put more. 
So you are literally exploding and moving the boundaries of your budget of which the capacity is also weakened. And what happens when you stretch something that is weakened? It breaks. It's logic. So that's what that's the language I was trying to say to Elasto. But little did I know that he doesn't understand. In fact, what he did, he tried doing exactly what I was advising him to do far too quickly. Because in everything that you do in your life, if you copy somebody's strategy, that strategy has timelines and time frames. You can do what? But the most important is when to do that. Because if you do what at the wrong time, whatever you copy it is going to bomb.